Hi everyone, welcome to Paul's World of Geography. This channel is all about geography. Please make sure to like the video and make sure to subscribe to see many upcoming new episodes. Thank you and enjoy. Today, we will start our fourth video in the eight part series on the continents. Whew, we are halfway there. In the course of this series, we will look at all seven continents in Oceania, one episode at a time. Oceania is not considered a continent, but it is a region of the world, and that fact will make it extra interesting. Our continent in this video is South America. Okay, let's start the video. South America is the fourth largest continent out of the seven and is the fifth largest in population size, with 422 million people. The continent of South America only borders one other continent, which is North America. It is bordered by the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans. Now, time for some physical geography. South America is home to the Andes, a mountain chain which reaches from Venezuela all the way to Argentina, which is at the bottom of the continent. The range is about 5,500 miles long. The highest mountain part of the Andes is Mount Aconcagua, located on the border of Argentina and Chile. The mountain is over 22,000 feet. The Andes and Mount Aconcagua are the highest mountain chain and mountain outside of Asia. One very interesting region in the Andes is the Salar de Uyuni. Located in Bolivia, Salar de Uyuni is the world's largest salt flat. This salt flat was created when two prehistoric lakes dried up, and left behind lots of salt. Salar de Uyuni is estimated to have over 10 billion tons of salt. Underneath the lake are deposits of lithium, the element used to make batteries. The Amazon River is also located in South America. The Amazon River is the second longest river in the world, with a length of 4,150 miles just behind the Nile, which we talked about in our video on Africa, and has the largest drainage basin in the world covering 2.7 million square miles. The river starts in Peru and flows through Colombia and Brazil, and then empties into the Atlantic. The total discharge by the Amazon itself at 7.4 million cubic feet per second is greater than the discharge of all the seven next largest rivers of the world combined. So, while the Nile is the longest river, the Amazon is the biggest. Next, we have the Amazon rainforest. The Amazon rainforest borders nine countries in South America, with Brazil having 60% of the whole ecosystem. The rainforest consists of broadleaf trees and receives a lot of rain each year. The Amazon is also home to many species of animals, including 1,500 species of birds and over 2.5 million species of insects. Lastly, the Amazon rainforest is sometimes poetically called the lungs of the planet, which produces more than 20% of the world's oxygen, which we humans need to live. Imagine if we did not have the rainforest. One magnificent feature of South America is Angel Falls. Located in Venezuela, it is the world's highest uninterrupted waterfall, with a height of 3,212 feet, nearly three times taller than the Eiffel Tower in Paris. Angel Falls got its name from a U.S. aviator named James Angel. In the 1930s, he crashed his plane near the falls, and people started calling it Angel Falls. In 2009, Venezuela reverted the name of the falls to its indigenous name, Carupacu Pai Meru. But the rest of the world refers to it as Angel Falls. Just like Africa, South America has a desert. The Atacama Desert is in the southern part of South America and is located in Chile and Peru. The Atacama is the world's driest non-polar desert and stretches for 900 miles. It is thought that the desert receives less than a half of an inch in rainfall each year. 
Lastly, the Atacama is the world's largest producer of sodium nitrate, which is used for fertilizers. Two famed historic sites are located in South America. One of them is Machu Picchu, located in the Andes region of Peru, meaning Old Peak. In 1911, Hiram Bingham publicized Machu Picchu. This city is one of the few pre-Columbian ruins which were found intact. Another historic site is the Nazca Lines, also located in Peru. These lines are geoglyphs meaning that they are designs created in the ground and were created 2,000 years ago. Some of these lines depict animals and birds, and it still remains a mystery to many people. Why would these people make designs that would only be fully visible from high above? The largest country and land area in South America is Brazil, with more than 3 million square miles. It is the fifth largest country and land area in the world. Suriname is the smallest country and land area, with only 63,000 square miles. Let's take a look at the demographics. The most populous country in South America is Brazil, with 213 million people, making it the world's sixth largest country in population. The least populous country is Suriname, with less than 600,000 people. The largest country in population density is Ecuador, with 150 people per square mile. Suriname is the smallest in population density, with about 7 people per square mile. Dazzling Sao Paulo, located in Brazil, is the most populous city in South America, with 12 million people. Surprisingly, Spanish is not the most spoken language in South America, it is Portuguese. Portuguese is the most spoken language by only a slight margin. The northern part of South America has a tropical climate in parts of Venezuela, Colombia, Peru, and Brazil. The southern part of South America has an arid and dry climate due to the Atacama Desert. One major weather event that occurs in South America is El Nino. El Nino is a climate pattern where a warm band of water makes its way to North and South America and brings a change to the atmosphere. This event usually starts in the eastern part of the Pacific and can also develop right off the coast of South America. South America is home to many unique and different species of animals. Some include the llama, the toucan, the anteater, the tamarind, and the jaguar. One fish species, called the piranha, lives in the Amazon River. Piranhas are about a foot long and are known for their razor-sharp teeth. They have inhabited the Amazon for 25 million years. Piranhas are mostly carnivores, meaning that they eat meat, but some are herbivores, meaning that they eat plants and seeds. Scientists claim that piranhas can bark. Fun fact time. It is said that astronauts can see the Amazon River from space. La Paz, the capital of Bolivia, is the world's highest administrative capital at a height of 10,000 feet. Well guys, that's it. Thanks for tuning in. Please make sure to subscribe to Paul's World of Geography and please also like the video. Next time, Europe.